Okay, so let's take a look at NC package that allows you to check system information on Linux. So in my case, I have Ubuntu. So what I will do is I will open terminal. Right. Next thing we will do is we'll do sudo, then apt install, and then NC. Let's type in the password. Okay. Say yes, and it will start the download. Right. Now the next thing after this is we will use some of the commands that allows us to check for specific system related information. Right. So let's wait for it to finish the installation. And now that it has returned the prompt, we can clear it. And then next thing is let's okay now what we will do is we will type in ink C. So this is the default command for calling for ink C. So it should show us the typical system information, right? Like CPU, kernel, storage, then processes, shell, speed memory right so these are some of the typical ones so if you want to get specific and more detail what you can do is in c then dash then lowercase b right and here you see a little bit detailed but not too much detail so here you see system information machine cpu graphics network drives and other info right so this is a little bit then what we can do is we get more by typing in ink c then dash and then uppercase a and here you see the dash a will call for audio related information right so if you have like your driver information and in sonic creative labs as you can see this is the driver that is running Okay, now let's take a look at battery information. So in C dash, then B. The B here is uppercase. Right, so not sure why it is not responding. So hopefully, right, so it seems like I'm using a virtual machine. So it could be one of those reasons it's not showing that. So let's see if it shows me CPU information with dash C. Here you see CPU information. So the commands that we have seen that are separate from your typical in C command, it's just going to separate out the details of our main report. So here dash C would give you CPU information. Then if you want, let's see more detail info. Type in C, then dash, then cap or uppercase F and here you see much more detail now right so all of those swap info sensors drives network graphics a bit more detail and to the point right and notice that you will also have super user required so you'll have to use su or sudo then in c dash f to get the detail info for serial numbers which is a good thing because we don't want to reveal serial numbers etc or hardware information within any command and it should be for super user or admin right next we will take a look at the graphics information so in c dash g right so here you see the graphics information and related to your device right your resolution, your OpenGL version, Mesa driver, right? All of that is bundled up. Next thing, we will get the process info. So, in C, then dash I. Right. Now, how many processes are running? 296, whereas uptime is 9 minutes since the login. Then, memory, which is 8 GB, out of which 2 GB it's in use and some memory for swap then shell which is a bash shell right and also shows the 
version of Inc being installed here. Now what if I want RAM info? So what I will do Inc C dash then let's use lowercase m to check whether that works or maybe uppercase and here you see lowercase also works and you get the RAM detail info. So here the detail info requires permission right so it is unable to run so let's see sudo ing c dash m and as you can see all the information which was hidden and requires admin privilege has been given so excessive information here so apart from your device A to 64 not being used right so only the single slot being used that's the data you get from this right now we can also get repository information so in C dash R should give some of the repo being used by current Ubuntu distro so as you can see no new repository as this is a pretty much fresh install right now what if you want your weather information so in C can do that so in C then dash W which is uppercase and I'm in Pune India so that information is also passed so here you see the temperature is 34.7 C, C then condition is then Thursday 5th May right also the source is weather bit IO if you want some other source like AccuWeather I think you should uh, install any other command line utility that fetches from AccuWeather because that is more accurate as the condition here is not haze instead it's more like sunny day right now so this is not the accurate weather info from Inksy right now let's see if I want to check some system resource I can do Inksy dash then lowercase t and here you see the CPU information right and memory information process and memory related info is being given as you can see these are some of the commands that you can use within C while checking for your system information